folks, with all the hype of the Z8 going on, it's kind of easy to get lost in all of the latest features and debates about should it have this or shouldn't it have that, and then find that you've spent the whole week in forums discussing hypotheticals instead of actually out there enjoying your photography. With that in mind, today I am heading out with model Elia. We're going to go hiking. It's the start of summer here in Hong Kong, so it's hot and muggy, but still any time's a good time to get out in nature. And we're going along a hike that should have some nice waterfalls. So for that, I'm going to take along the Z7 II. Good to always remind ourselves that, yes, when you're doing a camera review, of course, you want to talk about what's the latest and greatest and how's it performing to the current market. And autofocus is a big thing in 2023, but this absolutely can get the job done for you for normal portraits. I use it all the time, and it's a great option. And I'm going to take along something slightly older that also still gets the job done, in a manner of speaking, the D700. For the Z7 II, I'm going to take a 24-70 f4 and a 50mm, and then the 105 for the D700. So it'll be that, a couple of different outfits, and a bunch of towels, because we're sure to get pretty wet from sweat and waterfalls. Let's go. Now, before we head off on our afternoon of hiking, we have to do a little bit of urban jungle exploration to get there. First, we took the tram along Hong Kong Island, then the MTR train, and then finally an Uber out to this hike, which is towards Little Hawaii Falls. Big shout out to Elia for coming along. This was her only afternoon off work all week and she decided to spend it in 33 degree Celsius heat, hiking and dealing with all kinds of bugs. Hey there. Okay. Top tip when you're hiking, bring along someone who bugs really like, <laughs> AKA Elia, and then you won't get bitten at all. I'm not even gonna wear so spray. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you're so delicious, but Oops. it's good for me. Okay, let's go. Now today was just about exploring and having fun and being creative. So wherever we found an interesting shot, we just stopped, dropped the gear and shot away. I'll pop on screen which camera this was shot with and I'll give you some download files below. The mosquitoes seriously went to town on Elia. I felt really bad, but thankfully it was only the mosquitoes, not some of the other creepy crawlies we saw on the day. Now, once we finally got down to the main waterfall area, the top part, whilst it was kind of cool, there was just too much concrete. It didn't feel natural, and as a backdrop, I really wanted just rocks and water and, you know, old trees and stuff. So we continued heading down until we found a couple of spots that looked like they had some potential. Woo! Nice but extremely warm hike. Elia's really fun to shoot with and just hang out and chat. I feel bad though, she's seriously getting eaten alive by the bugs and they haven't bothered me at all. But there are some nice spots here. So let's have a little look and see what's gonna be safe and pretty. We're both fine to get wet, but we've gotta be a little careful because over that ridge is a proper waterfall. But I don't think you'd get past here even if you um, you know, weren't a strong swimmer. Well, this is actually quite something. All right, I think I need to go get Elia and my backpack. And there's a nice shot up there for sure. Under the bridge. Hopefully there's no trolls. They're normally in the comment section. Ah. 
both into our fashionable swimwear and me with my shoes on because holding a camera, I didn't want to step on a sharp branch or something and then freak out and end up in the water. Uh, first off, we're going over towards the large rocks and the decrepit old tree there. Now I splashed water all over the rocks because they just look cooler when they're a bit wet. Now once we were down there, we only had, I don't know, 90 minutes or so of actual shooting and we wanted to get through as many different variations. So we just kept moving to different spots, trying different outfits, different pools of light, basically just exploring, getting some different shots so we could both have a creative day away from our regular work and to create some nice images. So it's all going great. Um, we don't have too much time though and we've got to hike back out of here at the end of the day. So I've just come to grab another one of those swimsuits that we can keep changing, getting a different look in each different spot. So after this, we're gonna go further in on the rocks onto the little waterfall there. But I think the white swimsuit's gonna pop better. So I'll get that and deliver it to her. Now, Elia had actually worn covers underneath her clothing and swimwear so that we were able to shoot some shots implied topless and then, you know, with her hands covering or using a little sensor, but actually knowing that none of the video or photos would include nipples because God forbid you show a woman's body on social media. Now I found these shots were looking great, but there was a better vantage point actually shooting from up above on the bridge. I don't know what happened, but when I went to change lenses, Elia just decided to do some freestyle dance for the camera which despite the covers, I will put a blur on so that this doesn't get demonetized. I think this is a TikTok dance, I really am not sure. Now for these shots, I was basically going for longer shutter speeds, trying to get all of the water nice and moving. So I got a variety of different shutter speeds from like a 30th of a second, all the way down to a half a second. And we're getting some pretty good results. I have to give Elia props. She was able to hold really still despite being laying on a rock with water running all around her. About halfway through this setup, I realized that I'd been carrying a tripod the whole day when I was hiking, but I hadn't actually used it once. So I quickly set that one up so that we could get some even longer shutter speeds, again, shooting down on her on the rocks. Your body on the side. Next up, Ellie changed into this kind of boho dress to get a series of different shots. The top down vantage point here I think worked fairly well and we then went off to shoot with this uh, frame of nature behind and behind this waterfall is actually like 60 or 70 foot tall skyscrapers in the distance. So using the 105, you can kind of get a sense there when I stop down the aperture, you get a better idea of what's going on there in the distance. Finally, a couple of shots here shooting by these pools. I quite like the effect of these. Dun dun dun, let's look at some photos. Yes. Oh look, see, there is one bug that likes me. So, lots of holding still, trying not to show that you're freezing shots. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. I think we did pretty well. A couple of shots on the walk up here. What? One, and then your swimsuit, then my swimsuit, and then the dress. So four outfits and then one pretending topless. I think we did pretty well. And all of that with a camera that apparently has unusable autofocus and a DSLR that has much, much, much more basic autofocus. We did great. How are your bites? Um, great. It's disappeared a little bit. Yeah. Uh -huh. On the back. Yeah, starting to go. Nice. Okay. Thank you so much. It was a fun day. Just hike, hang out, take some photos. Remember, that's what it's all about. Not sitting in forums, bitching over specs. Go out, shoot, enjoy yourself, whatever it is you like to photograph. The photography happens when you're out there with a camera in your hand. Enjoy.